Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. So today we are going to learn about the login and the register in the Node.js. So let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have a two forms that is login and the register, right? So at, right now I'm going to log in with some of the username Rajni90 and the full name, um, you can say Raj. T H O U D H A R Y. Sorry, password is something. Raj. Be okay. The password I'm going to say this one. Confirm password. Okay. Now register. Now you can see that. Welcome Raj Shodhi to our website. Okay. And you can, if you go, go and just log out page not found that means logout is not there here so I guess maybe the log out so this is the page will come up okay so this is the scenario that we are going to follow up okay and if the, uh, the same thing that I have uh, logged in that is Rajni90 and uh, the password this is the password and try to log in logged in as Rajshwadri okay so how we are going to process like this so let's go to the code level so this is the code that we are doing up okay so first of all we have the folder structure that we have a public routes views pub this is a core file where we have a connection or this is a config files public routes views app.js that is the entry of the any of the project packer.json okay so first of all go with the app.js so app.js what we have we have a express we have a express session we have a path we have a routes which we have make express okay url and uh, url coded for the data um, body part for the apis and the views we are using the pug okay so view engine is pug right and here we have used the app session that is a secret this you need to pass after this we have a routers by default slash is page router use this error page not found that is you can see that if the page is not there then it will come up with the page not found then we have handling errors what the status if it is error then response that set status else 500 and they send the message of that error and this is the port of the server running because you can see that the server is running on the port this so this is the app dot listen and with the console so this is the file that the main entry file right after this we have to go with the routes this this all are the routes where we have the login and the register api calls okay so where we have to redirect get to the home page this is the home page right redirect with the slash only okay here we have just home, in the home session we are pick, picking up from the session that is a name user and the full name right here we have a login functionality where we are going to get back to the login with the username and the password if the result then respond request dot session dot user we are storing into it and redirect to the home section okay Otherwise, it will ask you for the username and the password is incorrect. This is the login process. This is post login. Then we have a register where we are asking, uh, where is the register? This is, we are asking for the username, full name and the password. Okay. So here we are just, if, if the user is created, then we are taking up the last ID and find it and store the result in their session and redirect to the home part okay else it will ask for the error creating in the new user this is the logout functionality we are just destroying the session and redirect to the home screen okay so this is three apis that are using that is login register and logout so logout for logout we are using the sessions okay express session so you can use that uh, npm package okay so here we are this is the api part which we have done okay then we have the views which we have including the header this is the header we have the all the links over here that is a login form username password and the login then we have a register form that is confirm password 
all the things like username, full name, password, confirm password. Okay. Then this is the styles where we have adding the styling part. Then we have a home when someone is logged in. So we are showing their name else. We are showing welcome to the website when it comes from the register part. Right. Then we have a logout uh, button. You can see that logout. Right. So here we have the logout and the block with the dashboard username. Okay. And this is the index file where we have include all the things that is layout content login panel and register panel you can see that here we have the you can go and just logged logged in so this is log out okay so you can see that this is a login and the register if you go and just comment this one so this panel will not come so this is the full in structure that is first layout then content then login panel then register panel Okay, this is a layout file where we are just heading body page wrapper includes header then content. Okay, so this file is done <coughs> pages. <coughs> we have already discussed what the APIs belongs to. So this is all about the APIs that we are heading into it. And you can see that when I try to log in with the Rajni 90. look of the storage local storage might be here that is the user okay, leave this one Okay, so this is how we are able to log in and the register with the help of the Node.js and we are using for the views that is called the bug files. Okay, so any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. If I something skip, then also let me know because this is main file that is app.js, which we already covered, right? This is the main entry file, right? So this is the overall. After that, we have a views. This, this is the pages the, where we have getting into the all rest of the APIs that we have mentioned. Okay, you can see that. Logout page. Okay, so all of these. Then we have this uh, includes where we have a header. Then we have a login. Then we have a register. Then we have a style. Then we have a home. Okay, where we have all the links. Okay, index, which we are. This is the combined part of all the things and the layout. Okay, so this is how the we can make the login and the register functionality with the help of the node shares. Okay, any doubt, any query, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.